it before it was even in the paper. You saw uh, it on the news, I think. Did. I mean, yeah. it, 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 they, supposedly... they, they, they broke it on the news uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night. That's right. And then Wednesday... No, 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 it was on Monday, Monday night. Monday night. Tuesday, Monday you had me scrambling night. for the story. I couldn't find it anywhere and, and, except where you saw and, it. And it popped up Wednesday in the Palm Beach Post and right. in the uh, Sun Sentinel. Uh, I don't know enough about it. They say it has on to Tuesday. do with estate planning. Uh, obviously, he's trying to well, he's prevent... Hiding. He's, he's hiding. He's got two trials to be up. The yeah, first one... The civil trial, he's trying to prevent that, that family from making any money on it. Right, right. right. He's already hidden. What, what he's essentially done to this point, he's got two minor children... 33% of his assets are already hidden in that part of his estate. Yeah. The next part comes with what he did with his longtime girlfriend adopting her. Right. Now she's got a third of the estate. So there's really only one third left of the estate for yeah. the Wilson family to go after. Yeah. Yeah. If it's, I've been following this because there's certain trials that catch your eye. I mean, well, me too. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, this one, I'm gonna be watching this one very closely. Very yeah. carefully. And it's, you know, if it's, you, uh, Glenn, Dana, or myself, and we've done a DUI manslaughter, we've already gone to trial by now. Well, Ralph, not just that, but don't forget, here's the, here's the big crime. I mean, it, it's all criminal, and it's all mm. pitiful, but he left the scene of the accident, and I will never understand that kind of behavior. Mm. There is no excuse for that whatsoever. Yeah. I don't want to hear that while he was uh, uh, hallucinating, he was yeah. confused because yeah. of the wreck. and he was drunk. Yeah, yeah, well, he was, he was, uh, he had it together enough that he knew he had to go to that trailer to try to get something else to drink. Right. right. Uh, right. So I don't feel, you know, again, he hadn't been convicted of it's anything yet, yet, but, but it, it, we know for a fact, and it is a fact, he did leave the scene of an accident. Right. That's a fact. That's right. empirical at this mm -hmm. point. That you mm -hmm. can't I mean, we, all, we all have our opinions of how we think the trial is going to end. Oh, I think, it, I think it's going to be a riot to watch. you got Roy Black, oh. for one. Roy Black is his attorney. Yeah. How do you think? How do you think it ends? Uh, I would rather withhold an opinion on that, Ralph. I appreciate the question. I would, I, I would like to get a little closer to it and see what comes out. I don't think it's a done deal that they're going to find him guilty. No, I mean, I mean that's why I say you've got, this is 21, by the time it goes to trial, this is 21 months down the line. Right. And money buys, money buys, and this is what crossed my tail about the judicial system. If you don't have money, you don't have the means to exercise these kind of motions. That's right. Right, right. And, you know, it's, you can say that the the judicial system set up to benefit everybody. No, it's not. If you're at the bottom of the food chain, you're not getting the same legal representation, nope. the same everything that this John Goodman's going to get. Money buys you a better justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but now uh, it all, but it doesn't always work all the time. You mean a perfect example? Roy Black lost that Victor Brancaccio case in Port St. Lucie, yeah. where the kid who beat up the old woman because she complained his boombox was too loud. Yeah. He, right. Roy Black was his attorney, and he lost that case. Yeah. Uh, Brancaccio is in, in jail right now. Rich, is this a is this a national? Uh, TV exposure case? Do you think or no? Uh, maybe there were they, they. It was on Fox News Channel yesterday. Uh, they were doing it very briefly. Did a very brief thing on it. Uh, but I don't know. It's got Florida. The uh, the national media likes to look at Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, if nothing else pops up on the radar screen, yeah. If there's if there's no you know, mom killing her three kids or something like that to capture their attention, then yes, I think this will be a national story. Sure, sure. It could be uh, on uh, court TV or whatever they call it now, true TV during the right, day. They right. still run trials. You could see it on there, sure. Yep, yep. Do you think, this is, I mean, I like I said, I have followed this from the get-go. Yep, it's just too. one of those, yep. you know, living down here 24 years, there's every now and then comes a trial where you're like, oh, yeah. it's such an injustice start out with what with what happened right do you think lighting a fire under a network sending out emails sending out blogs to maybe capture their attention to our uh, uh i would imagine most or they've already got sensors they out already there. know yeah they already okay. know and they're in contact with the uh local stations here okay. do you have any stories that we would be interested in that sort of thing yeah they okay. they, they know they know about it they what, what they're going to do with that information i don't know
Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry to vent. It's just one of those trials that just really... No, I, I, it is. And I, I said the other day, we're going to watch this very closely. Yeah. I think he goes to trial March 6th. Something because like that. Because he is March 6th for, yeah. for the criminal portion, and then the civil suit is March 27th. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was right. the other way around. Oh, okay. Right. I, I might have my numbers wrong. Right. Right. It's one of the two. He's right. got both trials next month. Mm -hmm. All right, Ralph. I appreciate the right. forum, gentlemen. Thank Thanks. you. All right, bud. Thank you. Go to Megan. Hello, Megan. Real Radio. What's up? Hi. How are you guys doing this afternoon? All right, darling. Hey, I have a uh, pretty cool little story about Peyton Manning and uh, 